parents are concerned over recent fights in our schools. Four students were involved in a lunchtime brawl at Parkview High School on Friday, and a staff member got hurt trying to break it up. Charmelle O'Dell joins us live with how parents can teach their kids to protect themselves if they're targeted. Charmel. Lee, we are just outside of Dunham's Martial Arts right here on Sunshine and South Glenstone. And students coming here are not only taught self-defense skills, but they're also learning how to build self-confidence, which instructors say can go a long way. I right, hear everybody break. Yes, sir. Everybody stay tall. Yes, sir. Everybody show me strong left side found your stance. Yes, sir. The way that we teach it, at least in martial arts, is self-defense isn't just physical, right? It's sometimes mental. Chris Dunham is the owner of Dunham's Martial Arts. Classes here range from age three to adulthood. Dunham says his students are taught to use several other defense skills before leading to an altercation. We teach them like if fighting is the last resort, we wanna make sure that we go through all these stages first. Dunham recommends parents teaching kids about defending themselves at an early age. This way, they know how to handle situations when alone, at school, or away from adults. What we recommend a lot of parents really focus on some of the three main attacks. Wrist grab, hair grab, bear hug. Go ahead and step back, get you protect, check, good strong stance from here. A lot of times we're going to focus on that thumb gate this way, but what we can also do if the attacker is extra aggressive, if there's a situation where he just couldn't get out of it because his hand's extra slippery, he can come to the outside of the wrist for the B version, and he's going to use this leverage point as he tosses it off to the side. Show him again nice and strong. So it comes to the outside, boom, and he just kind of breaks that. So if you grab my wrist, no matter how hard the attackers grab him, go grab hard, grab tight. I can use his own leverage against him and it just kind of breaks it off. Dustin Ray works at Queen City Biblical Counseling. Ray says good communication starts at home with parents. We need to start by asking, what are you thinking or feeling about what happened today? Mm -hmm. Growing in our ability to handle those motor skills, emotional motor skills pr can prevent physical altercations and, and physical violence. And best case, we might gain a friend. A lot of times it's just helping them to develop confidence. If they can have the confidence in the moment of a bullying situation, either one, they don't let it bother them like some kids do. Two, they're brave enough that they can speak up for themselves or go get help. Or C, right, number three, they can focus on being able to talk to somebody and be able to defend themselves. To sign up for Dunham's martial arts classes or Queen City Biblical Counseling, you can go to our website at ky3.com. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Charmelle O'Dell, KY3 News.